any plans to freeze agency fees or offer discounts you know with the cost of living crisis looming we we don't have any plans to either freeze agency fees or offer discounts at this point in time um, we're all facing similar pressures we absolutely understand that um, our agents are facing pressures in their businesses in terms of their overall running costs etc um, and we we recognize that therefore offering them great value for money something that they can really see helps their business and gives them that good return on investment is really really important um, we're in a very different situation now to that that we were in in early 2020 uh, during the first COVID lockdown, where obviously the industry shut altogether. People weren't allowed to show homes and therefore there was just no activity whatsoever um, within the agent space. And at that point in time, as you know, we, we, we A, were quick and B, were um, in, in monetary terms, the largest to um, uh, deliver discounts and support and help to our agents and you know i hate to say um uh, i hate i hate to preempt that we may ever find ourselves in a position again when the industry is entirely shut um but certainly what we're facing now which is which is tougher times for all um is is a different situation but we absolutely will continue to be focused on roi okay fantastic i mean you mentioned um tougher times there and it's been um announced regarding the redundancies that you're making which areas do they focus on the redundancies and do you think that will affect the service that you're able to give to your customers, agents in particular? So yes, un unfortunately, we have had to announce some proposals um, around some potential redundancies within the business. Um, we're in consultation um, with our employees at the moment around those, so I can't share anything specifically around numbers or areas that are affected. Um, what I can categorically reassure all our customers is that this will not be something that in any way affects the service. Um, it is about running our business in the most efficient way so that we can help our customers to run their businesses in the most efficient way and in a way which allows us to keep our pricing at a level which provides, as I said earlier, that good return on investment for customers. Okay, all right, thanks, Charlie. Um, okay, before we um, wrap up, um, I just wanted to touch on booming. Um, obviously, gone into administration were you surprised to see them announce that to be honest a, a little piece of me was sad um to see them announce that because you know i've always said yeah, right. um, innovation in an industry a competition in an industry um is always it always keeps suppliers on their toes um and at the end of the day, that that's good for customers and consumers. And you know, Boomin came in um, with a very bold vision um, of how they wanted to change that consumer journey. And I think at the end of the day, um, everyone was focused on making sure that we delivered the best things for our stakeholders. So it, it, it's sad that 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 entrepreneurial spirit um, has met, uh, as unfortunately many businesses are doing, um, yeah. with a with a tough end. Um, what I would say though is it does highlight that. That however entrepreneurial you may be, whatever your product proposition uh, may present, you cannot underestimate the importance of a well-established consumer audience and a brand. Um, and I have to say, you know, looking at the booming experience, you know, it, it makes me grateful and humbled that we have 94% brand recognition with consumers out there, because that is so critical in this network yeah. effect yeah. business to delivering the best outcome for our customers. Okay, no, that's great. All right, thanks for that, Charlie. Before I let you go, um, what's the the one thing that you might uh, suggest for your customers over the next period, looking out towards uh, the whole of twenty three? That's a good question. I think it really needs to be about embracing technology and embracing data uh, to enable them to make the best decisions within their businesses. Um, we're all facing tough times. How we use our time and how we use the scarce resources within our business. And when I say resources, I mean it in the broadest possible sense, whether that might be marketing dollars, whether that might be staff time, uh, whether that might be the resources for technology innovation. Really making sure those are deployed in a very, very pinpointed way is going to be the most important thing for all of our customers. And that, that's true as true for mortgage lenders as it is for estate agents. 
Um, clearly, we want to be a partner in doing that. I think we have a unique ability to be a partner in that, given we have the broadest offering for estate agents, as well as the broadest data sets for estate agents. But yes, making making those decisions that enables them to run their business in the most efficient way will ensure the highest return for them as we go through 2023. I think the one other thing now to take into account here is that most agents in the UK have both sales and rentals businesses. So whilst we may face some softer times in the sales business, the rental market, on the other hand, is going gangbusters. You know, we continue to see uh, demand in the rental market 30, 40, 50 percent above the five year average and supply remains at least 30 percent below the five year average. And so that inevitably is driving rents up, which, of course, drives overall commission levels up for agents. It is also a very quick market in which to rent. So agents, if they have properties on their books that become vacant, are generally able to rent those um, very quickly with very good outcomes for both their landlord customers and the agents themselves. So yes, as we think about 2023, potentially a bit softer in the in the sales market, but very much underpinned for most agency businesses in the UK by an extremely strong rental market. Okay, that's brilliant. It's a great message. Thanks, Charlie. So yeah, thanks for your time today and thanks for watching. Charlie Charlie Bryant, CEO of Zoopla. Thanks very much. Thanks, Dad. Good to see you.